Last month in Ohio, a man got mauled by a bear. Took off his right arm and ate half his face. And he's one of the lucky blokes. Yeah, and uh, today in Squamish, a boy with a fear of bears goes hiking in an active bear zone. You said this would be a life-changing hike. Well, I guess getting mauled by a bear is life-changing. <laughs> hey man, these things happen all the time. Last week, a kid got caught in a storm and bam, she smacked him right in the skull. If you don't shut up, I this might hit you right in the skull. You know you got a propensity for violence, right? And you've got a propensity for being a dumbass. <laughs> Mate, you know where you're going? Yep. Why do you want to come here so badly anyways? Dude, right now. I mean, like, where are you going to find anything like this in New York or LA? Plus, we're not going to be able to do this next year. Where are you optimistic? I'm all for astronomy, but isn't it possible to get a job when NASA's budget gets cut every year? And on the other hand, my parents are asking about getting uh, into finance. But I don't even possess my money. Dude, there are plenty of honest stockbrokers on Wall Street. You just don't hear about them. I mean, look at that Elon Musk guy. He's sending people to Mars. Mars, dude! Why don't you just work towards that? SpaceX is a privatized conglomeration funded by a self loving billionaire. I'm not going to become an asshole just working for that prick. Why are you worrying about this so much anyways? Don't you have all college to figure this out? Look, 30% of freshmen drop out of college. The rest, only half of them declare their major by sophomore year. This whole college thing where you spent four years of life figuring it all out, and by the end of it, you realize society doesn't even value your degree. Oh, hey, what's that? Uh, just, just a letter. <laughs> Who's it from? Don't worry about it, man. You're not gonna open it? Nah. No? Cool. Look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Is this the only way to it? Do you see any other way through? Well, unlike you, I can actually get hurt. The snow's too slippery. Come on, just pull your act together. Oh, why do I do this to myself? Come on, just enjoy what we have in front of us. What we have in front of us is a cliff. All I'm saying is if you worry too much about the cliffs and the snow, you're gonna miss the view. Well, I've seen better views. As I was saying, you have to pick a master's degree, saying whatever the fuck is interesting, and by the end of it, you wasted seven years of your life on crippling debt, and all because you made the wrong career choice. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think you're worried about college, career, or bears for that matter. I think you're afraid to move on. What on earth are you on about? Ever since grade eight, you got that offer to that prestigious elite gifted school, St. Gorgeous. Your parents wanted you to go, your teachers wanted you to go, and, and frankly, I wanted you to go. You wanted me to go? I really did, Trey. You're wasting your time with me. Well, piss off. You were never part of the equation. All right, then go back alone. Why don't you do that, huh? I'm your one friend, one friend, name one guy who would go on this trip with you. You know, you wouldn't be gone back then. Why don't you just do it now? Sounds like a great plan. Perfect. You know, I know what your problem is. You think you're better than me. Well, I don't need your pity and I don't need you. You're such a ruined prick. You're not worth my time. I wanted you to go, but I didn't want you to go. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what I mean. Sorry for being a twat. Now you got a propensity for being a twat. <laughs> Screw you.
You know, uh, one of those stars out there, it's named after me. You know, he's not like a 12 year old girl right now. Yeah, for like $20, I bought and named one of the stars. Guess what the scientists call it? What they call it? A white dwarf. A white dwarf? Yeah, sounds pretty cool, right? <laughs> Dude, you got ripped off. What do you mean? A white dwarf is a star that's about to die, or is already dead. We just don't know it yet. Remember back in grade 10, Sydney, Sydney Lartha? Yeah, what about her? You fancy her, don't you? <laughs> nah, I wasn't really into her. Yeah, you were. Couldn't keep her eyes off her in physics class. I remember this one time Mrs. Krauser caught you staring at her. Trey, eyes up here. Good times. Yeah, good times. Jack? Jack? Jack! Jack! Jack? Jack, if this is a joke, it's not funny. Jack! Dear Trey, I know I could have just sent you an email, but isn't this thoughtful? Anyways, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I couldn't keep my word on the trip, trip but I really hope that you went anyways. I'm a bit hurt that you didn't make any visits to the hospital, but I understand. You'd probably never admit it, but this is probably harder for you than it is for me. Wish I could have made it past graduation, but if you got this letter, I guess, I guess I didn't, but hey, don't be upset, because I'm not. I know you worry a lot, but everything will be fine. Don't worry about the bears, they're probably hibernating, I think. <laughs> don't worry about college, I'm sure you'll be successful whatever you do, as long as it's not a people oriented, right? And don't worry about getting there, just enjoy the journey while you're at it. I feel like this is the closing chapter or something, but there's a whole book to go. Cheers, your boy Jack. Also, Sydney Lartha probably has a thing for you, so you better ask her to prom. Don't let me down. And uh, P.S. This is very important. Make sure you clear my search history, alright? <laughs>